Jenny and Yaza from Endangered Art join me on this episode to talk about their CNFT project. They're raising funds for various charities to help these endangered animals around the world. It's a 10K NFT drop, but they've split it up into 10 parts. And each one of those 10 parts focuses on a particular animal. And I'm pretty excited how they've done that and trying to raise the awareness of all these charities as well. So it's a really nice way of doing it. The Mint is active at the moment, so you can check it out on the descriptions down below to find out a little bit more. Let's get into this interview. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get- I have Yazza and Jenny joining me on this episode to talk about Endangered Ark, an NFT project that I had a look at, and it is absolutely stunning. The artwork's fantastic. The website is absolutely smick, and I want to learn a little bit more about the project and how and what you guys are trying to achieve with it. Guys, welcome to the podcast. Well, hello, everyone. We're super excited to talk about Endangered Ark and show you our project. Yeah, thank you so much, Peter, for Pete, for having us. And it's been a, like a dream come true. We've been uh, <laughs> wanting to be here, and I'm so glad you, you made time for us. Okay, so let's start with a little bit of your own backgrounds first so I can learn a little bit more about you and then uh, dive into the project itself. So ladies first, Jenny, what, what brought you into the crypto space uh, and NFTs and then finally Cardano? Well, it actually was my work. I'm, right now I'm studying, I'm in my fifth um, year of university, of college. I'm studying strategic design. And I'm with an agency that works for marketing, design, strategics in general. And we met um, Jesse and they told us that they want um, a a marketing strategy um, to help them get to know more people, to grow in the community, um, to get to know endangered art through through the world. So that's what we make. And that's what made me go through the crypto world. I didn't know at first what was NFTs, what was crypto crypto i didn't know anything at all so it was like a new world to me i didn't know even what was gm the meaning of gm and then (laughs) i was like okay it's good morning and it was like really basic stuff that i didn't know but actually through the process i came to know crypto and nft and all that like little stuff that i didn't know and it was amazing so that's how i was introduced to the crypto world and also, I just want a little gap. Um, in El Salvador right now, the the Bitcoin is a big thing because the president has approved that it's a currency. So that's another part that I already know a little bit about Bitcoin and, and some um, cryptocurrency. So, yeah. Great. And what about yourself, uh, Yazer? Yeah, I, um, I started uh, with a cryptocurrency back in 2019 I started dabbling in it and I acquired Ethereum and, 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 and Bitcoin. Those were the two main ones that I knew about. And uh, yeah, but slowly I got into more, you know, dabbling into Polygon, uh, Cardano, and just really getting to know the technologies behind it. And then um, I have a friend from, from Russia, uh, his name was, is Tima. And uh, he was the one doing some projects in NFT. He, he, he asked me to help him out with those projects. And uh, so I started becoming a collector and I started collecting on, 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 on uh, Cardano, Ethereum and Polygon started collecting. And I really fell in love with uh, just uh, the Cardano environment, the Cardano community. And, 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 and when, I, when Luis Ver told me he wanted to do a collection for for endangered animals. I'm, I was I was like, yes, let's do this. Let's uh, actually let's start on Cardano because it's uh, eco friendly. You know, it's uh, good for the environment. It goes well with what we're trying to do, and uh, yeah. So that's 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 that was a little bit about uh, how we got started with 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 Cardano. But I myself, I love collecting. I've been. Uh, collecting good projects, I have been part of some rug pulls, you know, <laughs> but that's how you learn. <laughs> so in regards to the project Endangered Arc, uh, why did you guys want to start this? What is the mission behind the project? Um, it, it looks fantastic. It's a 10,000 uh, mint uh, project with, uh, I, th- I think it looks like you're doing it in stages, but what is the reason behind this? What's the mission? 
Well, our mission in total, like Jasper said, is helping these 10 species of endangered animals. And just like you said, we have been um, dividing it in different episodes. So it's 10 species, 10 episodes, 1,000 NFTs through, through the episodes. So our first episode that is already minted is the polar bears. So what we really want is to help them and help the, the environment that they, that they are living in, because we know that the climate change, the pollution, everything is making them being endangered. So um, through our first episode, uh, the polar bears, well, we are helping them with our nonprofit. We're giving them a percentage of our total um, profits to them. So it's a real um, nonprofit um, organization and they help, it's in Canada, it's the biggest um, um, organization that they help in Canada through polar bears and their habitat. And you can go into our, our website and you can see the polar bears that we are actually helping, that you are actually helping through our NFTs. So you can watch them live. You can watch them um, play, eat, everything. And it's really nice to see that who you're helping, you know, because it's not fake. So you can see the polar bears playing. You can see them and you can know where your money is going. And yeah, you can help them through them. So that's one of, that's our mission, our main goal. So yeah, help them at all. Wow, so that's that's fantastic in regards to actually trying to help these uh, various endangered species. Now, the first set, the first mint, uh, the first thousand is for polar bears. What, what are the plans for the rest of it? I'm assuming you've picked uh, another nine uh, animal species and there are more charities involved. Uh, what's the plan for the rest of the project? Yes, so the... The reason we didn't do all 10 animals at once and all 10 charities all at once is because we didn't want to overwhelm people with information. Also, we didn't want the nonprofits to be competing with, with time and, and, you know, and just a spotlight. Uh, we really wanted to highlight each nonprofit that we're working with and give them, you know, right now we're only talking about the Cochrane Polar Bear Habitat, the, the nonprofit that we're working with in Canada. Um, so they get all the attention, right? Okay, they, we everything, all of our communication on Twitter, Discord, it's all about them. Uh, okay. The next animal uh, is, I'll, I'll give it to you, Pete, because uh, why not? You know, it's going to be the gorillas. So we are working, we're going to be working with a, a nonprofit that is on a daily basis working with these gorillas. And, and, and the beautiful thing is that these are sanctuaries. So these are not like, you know, uh, isolated or in a different country, but they're actually right there with the animals. And and that's something that we're passionate about because um, in El Salvador, we lost the jaguar due to uh, a conflict. Uh, we had a civil war in the 1980s and, and, and it disrupted its ecosystem and, and it killed the gorilla, went into into the hiding, into the habitat where, where the jaguar would live. So sadly we lost the jaguar. And if we can do something about it, we want to do something to help these animals like the polar bears, the, the, the gorillas and the pandas and, and all the other animals that, that we have planned to work with. Thank you so much for revealing that little bit of information about the next one. I can totally understand why you would want to uh, keep each one a secret so you can focus on marketing uh, each and every charity as you go along. So that's, that's probably a really good idea. Um, now, in regards to the actual artwork and the style and the artists that you've uh, onboarded for this project, um, it's absolutely stunning. How did you reach out to this uh, particular guy? I've forgotten his name. Uh, Luis it's Fer. called Luis yeah. Fer. Yeah. yeah. How, how did you find this guy? His, his um, career and resume looks absolutely um, uh, fantastic with a lot of experience working with major brands and everything. How did you manage to convince him to work on this project? Yeah, so he's a friend of mine. So that's the lucky part about it is I, I've known him uh, for quite some time. And and um, yeah, like I said, we wanted to do something that to help the Jawar. And I told him about NFTs. And, and then he said, let's do a collection for to help these animals, you know, and bring awareness through the art. So he he this is his first NFT project. 
Um, and and we forced him to do Twitter because before this he didn't have Twitter only only Instagram and he has a lot of followers on Instagram. But we're like, I, hey, we want we Twitter is essential move, for yeah. for NFTs, yeah. And yeah, but he has done uh, even for the palace uh, of the uh, of of Guatemala. He has done art in the palace of Guatemala. He has done for he has done things for in Italy here. So yeah, he's a fantastic uh, artist all around. Yeah, Super it's, gifted. It, it's absolutely stunning. I'll, I'll put on some slides here so you can see some of his artwork. But yeah, going through the website, I'm assuming he designed the website and did all those aspects as well. Like you could really see the um, his style and everything reflect out in the NFTs. It's um, definitely something that uh, people, um, I think, will get excited about. Absolutely. Yeah, it's something that we wanted uh, to have a Louis Fair, uh, you know, signature, all the NFTs uh, to to really show that and and and. It took him three months to do everything because he's doing it, doing it for free. He's that we're not paying him to do this, it, so he has other jobs, right? Other other gigs that come up, and he's um, working on this for over three months. And there's over 400 assets just for the polar bear, and uh, you know it's only a collection of a thousand. So that really gives you some really unique uh, uh, variety of, of of things. So. Wow, that's amazing! Yeah, that that three months, four hundred assets for just the the first a uh, thousand NFTs. That's a lot of work. Um, I I tried. I, I dabbled into it. I had to look into it and went, "Oh, this this is going to take me forever. I can't uh, <laughs> handle an NFT project um, that I'm you know designing, and building myself, and all this other stuff I'm doing." So that's quite an effort. Now, in terms of some of uh, um, utility or anything around the NFTs? Have you have you built anything into that? Like, uh, do the NFT holders get any bonuses or perks or anything in regards to uh, uh, collecting the NFTs, or is it mainly just a, a profile picture style of thing and uh, a fundraiser? No, we actually with uh, Jenny, we and the, and the marketing team, we're always trying to think what can we do, like well, how can we add uh, utility. And um, yeah, we're actually one of the things we're passionate about is 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 um, fashion, and and we like uh, just we I, I love fashion, and and our team loves it, and and Jenny and I designed these these uh, shirts for the pre-sale holders. Um, I, Jenny doesn't have them because she's in, in in Miami right now, but the team in El Salvador had them printed, and they look amazing. And we're gonna be sending those those shirts for free. To all of our pre uh, pre sale holders, and then we're going we're working on some merch uh, that that is going to be available. Uh, we will give some for free, and then the other ones will be available for our holders. Uh, you know, to represent the the polar bears we are adopting. So we have Team Inushu, Team Ganu, Team Henry, which are the three polar bears. I will send you some photos so you can uh, show them uh, as on, on your YouTube. Oh, Jenny, I was hoping that you could uh, show me some of that merch. Uh. Oh, maybe I can. If I, I need to search for it, but maybe I can because it's you. I can show it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I already have it. It's like this. It's really neutral. Yeah. And in the background, oops, sorry. In the background, wrong. Um, we have the polar bear. That is cool. I like yeah. that. I like that. Yeah, it's amazing. So it's a polar bear, really fun. Having fun with the watermelon, yep. watermelon sugar high. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we have it like that. So it's amazing the design. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. I I, I absolutely love that. And um, when you get that merch store up, please let me know. And um, I, I love collecting Cardano related merch. I've got my little Wi-Fi T-shirt here. So yeah, oh, I love it. Representing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll definitely send you some from uh, from our team, Pete. Oh, that would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. So in terms of your team, you just mentioned that. Who else is on your team? I have a, I had a look at the website and there's quite a few people working on this project. Uh, is there anyone else that you'd like to highlight in regards to uh, um, your team members there? Oh, from our, our, our team, we are from the marketing team. We are, are three people that are, are in charge. So we have Gavi, who is the head of the marketing and you have Christian Polio, who is next with me, 
So we help um, Gavi to, to do all the strategies and everything. Um, and yeah, we are the marketing team just like that as the agency that I told you that it's called Quantistica. So we help them as the marketing team. Yeah, and the rest we have, of course, Luis Fer, uh, uh, Tima, who he's the brother that brought me into the NFT world. He's helping us as a project manager, just helping us, you know, get our ducks in a row. And uh, yeah, then we have uh, Toto, but he's he he helped with uh, with the project of of, uh, forgotten. of of the kids, forgotten. Yes, yeah, forgotten. He helped with forgotten and. Uh, Yes, we have uh, Hector, who's an amazing, uh, the, all of our videos and that you see are, are created by Hector. So he puts a lot of love uh, into all of that. And um, yeah, and, and, uh, and I mean, every single person in our team is, is essential. And uh, Susie, who's, who's mostly on, on spaces talking about the, and she's the person uh, who's responsible for the nonprofit. So she's the one in communication with the nonprofits, telling them how's, how's everything going and, and creating those partnerships. So strategic partnerships and, and Toti who also creates uh, all of the discord moderates. And I mean, every single person in our team is, is, is awesome. And it's quite a team with very unique skills and uh, specific roles as well. I think uh, with what you guys are trying to achieve and uh, the, the scale of it, you do need a good team around you um, in specific tasks. So it's really good to see that team has been built out. Now, in terms of the roadmap and mm -hmm. when these next mints are happening, so the, the first mint is happening now with the polar bears. When do you expect to see the next one uh, roll out uh, with the, the grillers, et cetera? Or are you waiting for the first thousand to uh, first um, uh, sell out? Uh, what's your process there? Yeah, ideally, we would love to see the first uh, thousand polar bears be adopted. So then we can move, uh, you know, to the next uh, animal, uh, which would be the gorilla. And But we are uh, ev evaluating with the team, you know, because... Uh, it's for the current holders, the, the people who already minted, who already bought. They are excited to uh, see the next animal, the next art. So uh, we're Luis is still creating the art, so he's still finishing up the gorilla. I think once we have it all completed, then that's the moment we'll probably close the the polar bear, but we'll let the community know ahead of time so that they know that how long they have until we close the the polar bear. But as in right now, the art still being uh, developed. We're getting pictures from the nonprofit. So he's trying to make sure that we can get some of those features into into the art, so. Right, gotcha. Yeah, and, and of course you do wanna give that nonprofit as much um, exposure as possible as well. So if if you cut the, the roadmap a little bit short, some of the nonprofits might not get the exposure that they need uh, in regards to um, uh, marketing and, and whatnot. If anyone was wanting to mint it now, um, how would they go about that process? Yeah, so they can they would go to our website, uh, endangerarc.io uh, slash four slash mint, and and then you'll be able to uh, either send uh, to the contract policy ID, or you can uh, do it, uh, you know, through uh, NAMI. If you have a NAMI wallet, it's super easy. You just click uh, mint, and it'll appear right away. So, so yeah, it's a uh, it's we were trying to make it as easy as possible also for people that don't know how to mint we have a video on how to mint on our website and on our discord so and even on our social media so so there's definitely uh resources available for 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 anyone who wants to be part of the endangered family absolutely brilliant making it easy for people is absolutely key now you were talking about the video on the discord server and your community as well how and where is the best places to connect with your community uh, is it telegram discord uh, where, where do you guys mostly hang out our main source of community is discord so you can go in there and we can chat every every day at every hour we are chatting about anything so it's a really big community and a really big a uh, really important community that we are always 24 7 connected so you can go into our Discord. You can find the link in our Twitter, in our webpage, anywhere. Um, and yeah, we can chat in there and it's our main source of community. So it's really cool how everyone 
and how we can get to know new people and they don't even know they don't even are from El Salvador for Poland for Russia they're from er everywhere so it's really nice to get to know more people in there and yeah we can wait to to meet you all in there yeah crypto is global so uh you, you yeah. find people from all parts of the world um so yeah it's it's quite exciting to meet them all is there any chance that the community could actually meet and engage with the nonprofits? Because, like, I'm I'm meeting with you guys and uh, talking uh, about uh, you know your involvement, and I'm I'm learning a little bit about the projects as well and um, the nonprofits. But would it be cool if we could actually meet the polar bears? Uh, or um, talk to the people that are looking after them and get a, a better explanation of uh, how their environments are being uh, damaged by global warming or poaching or whatever it is. Uh, is there any interaction with the nonprofits for those reasons? Yes, actually, one of the things we want to do is that uh, I think we can do a better job. Actually, I was on a space yesterday with uh, a couple of the people from the community in Cardano. And they told us is that they wanted to meet the nonprofit. So one of the things we want to make sure is uh, do a video with them uh, to so I can show the facilities, show the bears, the, and also bring them on. You know, to to I would love to uh, get them interviewed by people in the Cardano space and and even on Twitter spaces. You know, and because it's it's amazing the work that they're doing. They have over 24 acres of land. And it's a pristine, natural, um, and the polar bears right now, uh, like Jenny said earlier, if you go to our website, you can see the polar bears you're helping and you're adopting. So it's really amazing the work that they're doing. And I, I do think that we can always do a better job of highlighting them and giving them a bigger spotlight. So anytime, Pete, you, wanna, you want, us to, want, want us to bring them on, we'll definitely can arrange that to, to bring them on board. That would be really cool. Uh, I actually want to see Jenny do an interview with the polar bear. But, uh, um, <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I'm, that would be amazing. Yes. That would be really cool. <laughs> if you could fly up there and, and uh, uh, you're probably the closest. I be, <laughs> yeah, I would be really excited to go and interview a polar bear, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just like Jasser told, um, on our web page, you can see them. And it's really nice because they're not just animals. They have names. They're called Hector. They, they they have names. They have a profile, so it's really personal, and you can even mon monitor them, and you can see like, okay, what's Hector doing right now, and what's Hector doing the night in the night. So it's really cool how you can see them. So yeah, yeah, I, I did notice. Um, uh, for people that don't, re don't realize, there is a, a live stream of the polar bear enclosures. Uh, so if you go to the uh, Endangered Arc website, follow the links through, you can watch the polar bears interact. Um, I did have a look a little bit earlier, but I think it was a little bit too early and they're just sleeping. So <laughs> it's, not, it's not very exciting at the moment when I was looking, but um, it's, it's a really nice little addition that um, people can uh, interact with and learn more about the polar bears and actually see the polar bears that they're helping. Because it's one thing that, you know, it's nice that I bought the NFT and I, go oh yeah okay i've helped out a project but actually seeing and engaging with the the charity the non-profit is so much more impactful um i can see that my nft that i purchased uh, it's gone up in value whatever it is being traded but it is helping this non-profit and that's that's really powerful yeah totally that's our purpose yeah and i think that this project uh has a heart and the heart is the nonprofit you know it's 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 the cost it's the the animals uh otherwise it would be just a profit uh for profit uh nft that you know it's just trying to sell art uh, but i really believe uh the art uh the heart of the art is the fact that we're impacting the environment we're making a difference in the lives of these animals and one of the things that they told us is they are limited on how many bears they can have because of the funds. So, um, you know, I, I, I wish I'm, I'm not the only NFT project uh, that Endanger is not the only NFT project that partners with them. I hope other uh, we can even give you the information for other projects that want to help polar bears and want to donate towards this nonprofit. Uh, the main goal is to help. You know, we are 
one way to doing so, um, and, and 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 we're passionate about about it. We're passionate about the art, and we hope that people fall in love with what we're trying to do and, and the mission and, and the vision for it. Brilliant. H- have you engaged or talked with any state port operators that may have similar missions? Similar missions in regards to um, you know uh, trying to save wildlife, wildlife in general, um, and then maybe some of the the profits that you guys are uh, getting from the sale of the NFTs, you could stake it and then create a revenue income from staking and provide it to these uh, nonprofits as well. Have you thought about anything like that? No, no, I, but it sounds amazing. Actually, uh, one, one of our friends uh, from Forgotten does that for their project. And uh, we were definitely wanting to learn more about it because it, 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 it would be fantastic. Actually, even the revenue from the merch, once we do the merch store, uh, part of the revenue is going to go to towards uh, the nonprofit as well. So everything that we do within the ecosystem of Endangered Arc will always uh, forever continue giving to towards the nonprofit. Probably a call out for a state pool operator if they're watching uh, this episode. If they want to engage with Endangered Arc, please reach out. Details in the show notes. I just wanted to thank you. <laughs> um, um, thank you and encourage everyone that join us and to keep um, an eye on our project because we're really excited for everything for our next episode that it's a gorilla. So I just want to encourage everyone to follow us on Twitter, on Discord. And yeah, so we're really grateful for you, Pete, for this time and for this chat moment and to get to know you and get and thank you for get to know our project. So yeah, we expect everyone to get to know Endangered Arc in the future. So yeah, and we can wait for you to join our community. I, I couldn't have said it better. This is why Jenny is the marketing. You know, the the she's she's the one that uh, does all this because it's 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 truly a pleasure being here uh, talking to your community too. You have an amazing. Fan, fan followers they're incredible and we're just super excited that that we have a chance to speak to them that you have given us a platform to to talk to them and and i hope they can see you know that we're uh just normal people trying to to make a difference in this world and 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 why not through nfts you know why not through cnfts uh that we're passionate about and 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 our team is constantly working on on trying to build value and bring uh, value to our to our holders. So that's something you can bank on. And uh, thank you so much, Peter. You have been nothing but absolutely amazing and the best. Well, thank you guys for joining me on the podcast and sharing your stories as well. The all the links and references I'll put in the description for the video. So if anyone wants to follow the project, engage with you guys and learn a little bit more, you can do so. Jenny, Yaza, thank you so much for joining me on the podcast episode. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, thank you. It's been a pleasure thank too you. for us. Thank you so much, Pete. So big thank you to the Endangered Arc team for joining me on the episode to talk all about that. And I'm really looking forward to seeing some of this merchandise when it finally comes out as well. That's that's probably the, the really cool thing I like about a lot of these projects. The artwork that comes out of it, having these shiny JPEGs is one thing, but having something to wear and be a part of your everyday life, the in real life side of things, that's what I'm excited about as well. And the impact that it has for these charities. So that's the real the real cool thing that these NFTs can actually do for the world and do for the community. Now, if you really enjoyed this type of content, please consider giving that thumbs up, hit the like button and click subscribe and you hear more great Cardano content from me soon. Yeah, I gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.